Hi hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back into the cockpit of this Porsche 991. And I really just wanted to show you a quick video on what to do in a situation like this. Um, you'll see the dashboard is lit up on this 2013 Porsche 991 Carrera S. And it can be quite dawning and worrying when you see all of these warning lights popping up and these messages coming on the message center here. So we'll go through them. Uh, we've got the ABS PSM loss. Uh, fault with a parking brake and a gearbox fault possible reverse drive on um, yeah so that, that that can be quite daunting but in fact the the real reason behind that is actually quite a simple one and I'll show you through the steps here um, and I'll, I'll take you through step by step on what you need to do but, but bearing in mind this is this is if you want to try and deal with the fault yourself which it's quite a simple fault so you probably can deal with it yourself rather than taking it to a garage or a workshop which will charge you you know whatever the going rate is plus parts and you know diagnostic add-ons and things like that you could be looking at easy four or five hundred pounds just from the garage or the workshop and that's not even a Porsche dealer uh, you can do it yourself for a way less money okay uh, well this is the tool you'll need to get first of all this is the POR version 3.0 so if you want to do it yourself the only way around f finding the exact fault is by getting this tool uh, so this is a, it's a POR version 3 and I'll pop the link in to this kit in the description below this video okay um, it's a really it's a well priced kit actually and it's really easy to use we've got it plugged into the diagnostic port of the vehicle um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to click on to diagnostics and we're going to click on to Porsche and we're going to go through the motions. We can ask the tool to find the vehicle for, so we can identify it ourselves. So if you want it to go vehicle select, it gives you a list of all the vehicles that it will cover. So it does pretty much everything which is OBD2 compliant. Uh, but just to show you the process, just to show you how the tool does it, we go VIN identify, click read, it's automatically found the VIN number, press F1 and there we go, it's found the vehicle. So this immediately now takes us into a screen where we can ask the tool to automatically scan the vehicle for faults if you're not sure where the fault is. Uh, you can do, you can individually select the control unit or the system you wish to diagnose, which is what we're going to do in fact. Uh, and then you can go into the service menu, which I'll show you that after this part actually. Uh, so we'll go the control unit first of all and we're going to make sure the ignition is set on the actually the engines running uh, but we're going to go into Porsche stability management that is effectively the ABS system on this vehicle whenever you get the ABS fault the traction and the park and brake warning light or the sorry the exclamation mark that's the park and brake uh, we do have the park and brake on that's the reason for that if we took the park and brake off which I'll show you I would expect that to turn off Oh, right, no, I've got that wrong. Yeah, so that's the park and brake one. That's the, the, the fault warning light, I guess. Um, so we've got it on, but anyway, once you get those faults, you're looking at the ABS system, right? The, the telltale sign is these two here located in the ABS system. So on the Porsche system, they call it PSM, Porsche Stability Management. And we're going to go to, we're going to click on that system here. So on straight away, we've got PSM in diagnosis. We've got the traction flashing the off flashing and we're going to go into read fault code to see what it's giving us so we've got um, a fault code of 4200 and it's there's one fault and it is purely because of the front right speed sensor electrical fault uh, so that is the ABS sensor um, different manufacturers or tools will call them different things but ultimately if you've got anything like an ABS sensor a hall sensor, a speed sensor, it's the ABS sensor, okay? Um, and it's telling us that the problem with the, is with the front right. So what we've done is we've, we've fixed that, we've put everything back together. Um, it was a, a Porsche part uh, ABS sensor. Um, you can pick them up, you know, it depends. If you, can, you can buy aftermarket parts, which I probably wouldn't recommend, but still might get the job done from around about 35, 40 pounds up to about 125, I think it was, for the, uh, the genuine part. Uh, but once you put that in, you'll still have the faults on the screen. You'll still have the, possibly still have the warning lights. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and click on clear fault memory, and we're gonna get rid of all of these faults. Interestingly, you see on the message sender here, it says there's a fault with the gearbox. Um, we don't think there is a fault with the gearbox. We think that is just because that's just come up at the same time as the ABS faults. Um, so we'll we'll go and scan the the uh, the gearbox at the same time actually after we've done this. So we'll click on clear fault memory, click on OK, erase operation done. Uh, we've still got the warning lights on screen, but what we need to do is we need to back out of the system, and then we should get 
well we might get the warning lights turn off there so they've all turned off there other than the park and brake which we've got on start stop uh, for some reason that that was I'm not, I'm not sure what that is I think it just probably needs just a reset on that but that is uh, nothing to worry about it, with regards to the ABS faults that we've been getting interestingly I want to go back into the transmission control see if there was a fault with the uh, the PDK um, check PSM control unit so that is where the gearbox links up with the, with the gearbox so the gearbox links up with the PSM unit so that is because we had the fault uh, positive torque and intervention not possible engine torques values inaccurate okay so yeah I mean the gearbox fault has gone away since we've reset the ABS faults so I don't think I think these are probably um, fail to complete all right what we'll do is we'll just turn the engine off ignition on and that should get rid of them no it's failed so that could mean that these faults are indeed faults that we need to look at which is interesting um, but ultimately I mean the purpose of this video was just to show you the ABS fault so we're, I guess we'll look at those transmission faults in a different video uh, but ultimately as I say yeah this was all about the ABS and how to fix it now you see we've done that we've managed to fix that for the price of the tool and the part itself so and of course you've got you've got the tool for future use you'll always have the tool uh, to be to be there for you now I mentioned the service option earlier don't worry about those that's just because we're going into all of the, the, the different systems within the vehicle it's going to give us a list of the um, the service functions that we can do on this particular vehicle uh, so normally things that would be done at the garage you can do these yourself with this tool um, but I'll pop the link, as I say, to this kit in the description below this video. It's a really, really good tool. It's super, super good, particularly for the Porsche 991 because the 991 has systems installed um, that will work with this tool, and this tool knows what systems this tool, this car has installed. So the, the two of these, uh, the tool and the vehicle, go together really, really well. But as I say, I'll pop the link in the description. Um, and yeah, don't forget, fakes and clones do exist. If you use the link, you'll go directly through to the genuine and official product. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.